Good morning guys. So right now we are getting ready to head to Lowe's to buy some paint. I am so excited. Today we are going to be painting my beauty room. So right now the shade of it is kind of like a creamy yellow shade and I've just never really loved the color. So I think I'm just going to go with a nice bright white color because that room doesn't get a ton of light. So I want something to kind of brighten it up a little bit. And I am all bundled up. I'm wearing my new boots because it is freezing outside. We actually got some snow last night so I thought I would bundle up because I cannot stand being cold anyways I will either vlog when I'm at Lowe's otherwise I will show you the pink color when we get home so before I head out I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea lately I have been drinking this sugar cookie sleigh ride tea instead of coffee I don't think I've hardly had any coffee for the past three weeks I have pretty much been hooked on this tea it is so good so all I do is I make this in my Keurig, which is so much easier than making it in the microwave or heating up water on the stove. I take one of the little tea bags and I pop it right here inside of the Keurig where you would normally put your cake up and push the button and it is just that easy. And somebody is at my door right now. I wonder who's here. Muffin, is someone here? I'm surprised my dogs aren't going nuts because usually when the doorbell rings, they go crazy. Once the tea is done, I take the tea bag out and I usually steep it a few times. And then I let that drain a little bit and then I'll usually kind of squeeze out the tea bag and it's really hot. Oh my gosh, it burns my fingers. And then I add in my honey and sugar. And then it is good to go. All right, let's go see. Now the dogs are over here guarding the door. Looks like we got a package from Target. I think I know what this is too. Come on. Molly looks so cute back there. Look at her, she's peeking out behind the bar stool. What are you doing? They're always curious. Whenever I get a new package, they're always curious to see what I got. I open it up and they're always sniffing inside of the package. So I got a package from Target, like I said, and I'm pretty sure it is some new curtains that I ordered. I'm gonna open it up and just find out. Oh my gosh, and I also wanted to show you guys this adorable mug that my mom got for me. Look how cute that is. I love it so much. Thank you, mom. I absolutely love it. Okay, I need to find a knife see if I can do this. It's hard doing stuff one-handed. All right, I'm just gonna set this down for a minute. Hold on. All right, I got the box open. Let's see what's inside. Yay, it is my curtains. So these are the curtains that I ordered. I ordered two panels. These are going to be for my living room. They're just a nice cream color. I actually bought some of these in store for my dining room, but they only had two pairs in store and I needed another two pair, like I said, for the living room. And it actually ended up working out pretty good because online they ended up being cheaper than they were in store, so that was kind of nice. This is what it looks like right now in my living room. I don't have any curtains hung up and I feel like it just looks so bare. So I'm really excited to get these put up. Originally, I had the dark gray curtains with the patterns on them, if you guys remember. But I don't know, every single time I buy curtains with the pattern, I feel like I get sick of them so fast, so I think I'm just gonna stick to the solid colors from now on. And I also wanted to show you guys, I think I had mentioned to you that my sister got me a gift card from TJ Maxx for Christmas. I almost wanted to say my birthday. I don't even know what I'm thinking I was gonna say for my birthday. But for Christmas, she got me a gift card from TJ Maxx and this is the bag that I ended up buying with her gift card. I am so excited about this. This is my first ever Michael Kors bag. I've wanted one for the longest time. And when I saw this one at TJ Maxx, I fell in love with it. So I'm so happy that she got me a gift card and I was able to get this gorgeous bag. And then I just added one of these little puff balls. I love these little things. Anyways, I think I'm going to head out so I can get back because if I wait much longer, I'm probably going to be too lazy to paint when I get home. So I will talk to you guys in a little while. Hi guys, we just got back from Lowe's. So this is the current situation in my beauty room. Basically, we've moved all of the furniture kind of to the center of the room and we're getting ready to paint. We're gonna start out by painting the ceiling. And what I'm gonna do, instead of moving all of the furniture out of the room, like I said, we moved it in the middle and we're just gonna cover it with plastic and it's just a lot easier than having to move everything out of the room. So here's a little before. I forgot to take a video of when I had everything in its place. So this is just kind of how it looks right now. You can kind of see what color the walls are how they're kind of like a creamy yellowy color I'm really excited that these are going to be gone 
Okay, we've got everything covered in plastic and we're ready to start painting. It's starting to snow outside again. I always love it when it's snowing outside. It looks so pretty here. I'll give you guys a little bit of a look at what it looks like outside right now. This is the ceiling paint that we normally always use. It's by Glidden. And this stuff is really cool because when you're painting it, it goes on the ceiling a nice bright pink color and then it dries bright white like it says on the label. But it makes it so much easier when you're painting a white ceiling because sometimes it's so easy to be able to miss spots. And then once the paint dries, you can definitely notice that you missed a spot. So I'll show you guys in just a second. Look how pretty this is. Maybe I should have painted my walls paint. Just kidding. So here's what it looks like when you're rolling it on right now. Bill is doing the ceiling and like I said, it's a nice bright pink so you can definitely tell where you've already painted. Good morning guys. So yesterday we painted the ceilings in my beauty room and today we are getting ready to start painting the walls. I am so excited. And then we'll just have a few other things to do like over there in that corner. I bought a new light that we're going to put up and then we'll have to do trim and just a few things like that. So anyways, we are just going to get started. This is the paint that we're going to be using. It's the Velspar Signature and this is the one with the paint and the primer. And then I went with a semi-gloss. Lately I've just been really liking the way the semi-gloss paint looks. And this is from Lowe's and the color we are using is Swiss Coffee. So here's what it looks like. I absolutely love this color. It's just a nice white, but it's not too bright of a white, if that makes any sense. There's so many different shades of white. If you've ever went to paint a room white and you looked at all of the white color swatches, it's really hard to make a decision. The first thing that we do when we start painting is using one of these edgers along the ceiling. These are also really great if you're going around trim. In this room, we did remove all the trim because we are putting up a new um, wider trim, but these things are amazing. And usually Bill always does this part because I am not good at using the edger at all. I always end up making a mess out of this. So he usually goes ahead and does that first. Here's what the paint looks like going on the wall. How do you guys think it looks? I think it looks really good. I like it way better than the cream color. Anyways, I'm going to get going so I can take over the rolling. I've just got Bill doing it for a second so I can show you guys how it looks. So I'm going to get going so I can get the rest of the room painted. We are finally done painting and I absolutely love the way this color came out. I'm so happy I went with a nice bright white because like I said, this room doesn't get a ton of light. I did end up putting two coats of paint on the wall because I felt like in a few spots you could kind of see the cream color peeking through a little bit and I just wanted to make sure it came out really nice. So like I said, we still have to get trim and do all that. We have to go buy the trim and then Bill will have to cut it and I'll have to paint it. So we're probably not going to be doing that this weekend. That'll probably be next weekend or the week after depending on the weather. We might put up my light later so I will update you guys when we do more in here. Hi guys, we are back and right now we are putting up the shelving in my closet. So I wanted to quickly show you guys what this looks like before I get it all in. So basically I bought this shelving at Menards and what it is are these two end pieces. I don't even know what to call these. These two little white pieces with the slats in them. You buy these and then you mount them on the wall and then you buy the little white brackets and you can move the shelves anywhere that you want. And it's so nice because if you put a shelf in and you don't like the placement of it, you can just slide the slats out and move it easy enough. So these are really nice. And you can also store a ton of stuff and it was really inexpensive. I think for all of it with the shelving, it was maybe $25 I wanna say. So here's kind of what it looks like as I'm putting the shelves in. So I basically have all of the stuff organized on these shelves in my closet, so I'll just give you a little overview of how it looks. Like I said, it's really nice because before this was just completely unused space, and now look at all of the stuff that I can store over here, including all of my Bath & Body Works candles. It looks like I have so many, but I got quite a few for my birthday, and then I also got a few more for Christmas. They also sell bigger shelves so you can space the little slot things further apart and then put bigger shelves if you have a bigger closet and they also have the shelves in different colors. 
I also went ahead and moved my furniture back into the closet because that is basically done. We just need to add the trim around it and in the rest of the room. So this is how it looks. And then I did switch the bookcase. If you guys remember before, the bookcase used to be on the right side. But I just felt like it was easier to access the shelves if the bookcase was on the left, if that makes any sense. So that is how it looks. We just put out my new light so this is how it looks and this light is really nice because all of the lights are on like a swivel so you can move them in any direction and shine the light anywhere that you like which I think is pretty cool and this light is from Menards so then I just stuck my mirror here I actually just have it leaning up against the wall I'm not sure if I'm going to hang it up or just leave it leaning and then I started to move a little bit of my furniture back just because, like I said, we're probably not going to do trim until next weekend, so it only takes a minute to move the furniture again. One more thing before I go, guys. I had to show you this adorable little owl mug that Bill surprised me with. This thing is so cute, and I love it because on the back it has the little feathers. Okay, I know, I seriously have a mug addiction. A lot of you have been asking to see a mug collection video, and if you would like to see that, Give this video a thumbs up so I know that you guys would like to see it. So I think now, since I'm just waiting on the trim, I'm going to go ahead and maybe organize some of my makeup because it is a complete disaster. I'll open up my vanity and show you guys what it looks like. It's really messy though, I warn you. So this is what the inside of my vanity looks like. I know it looks terrible. I haven't organized my makeup in forever. So I think I might work on doing that a little bit. But anyways, I'm going to get going. Like I said, once we get the trim and the doors up, I will definitely do an update and show you guys how everything turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you next time.